I wanted to tell you Alpha's joke. <laughs> One night this week, it was almost two, and I'd been praying for some time, and I decided I'd better get to bed so I could get up early and get to work. And so I said to Alpha, I cannot sleep past nine o'clock. You must get me up by nine. So shortly before nine the next morning, or that morning, I was still fast asleep. And all of a sudden, I felt someone shaking my bed. <laughs> And I thought my daughter Erin had come in <laughs> to play a joke on me. So I was going to play a joke back and pretend I wasn't noticing. <laughs> <laughs> but the bed wouldn't stop shaking. <laughs> so I turned over and looked, and no one was there at all. <laughs> and I said, my god, I'm in the center of an earthquake. <laughs> So I just thought you might like to know how the earthquake came about this <laughs> week. <laughs> That's a believe it or not story for, <laughs> for believers only. <laughs> It was very interesting that there was no damage from the earthquake to speak of, and that some people who were reported commenting on it said that they actually enjoyed it. <laughs> I felt it as the laughter of God and the joy of God, and as a point of contact to reassure us all of the very closeness of our Father, of Alpha, in this hour. And I know that one of the things I learned from this earthquake that was certainly one of the most powerful that has been had in many years is that God can adjust the earth and the earth changes with such precision, calibration of vibration and light and energy that if he so desires, not a single pebble or stone should be found out of place. This particular experience of the earthquake so reinforced my sense of being in the arms of God wherever we are and knowing that whatever will take place is being watched and is being directed directly from the heart of Alpha. I thought it was very sweet. And from that hour to this hour, he has not ceased speaking to me in a very direct manner. And I think the moral of the story is, in the future, don't ask Alpha to be your alarm <laughs> clock. <laughs> it taught me something about hierarchy, that there are angels and elementals that perform the tasks <laughs> of getting parking places and waking us up and all sorts of things. So. <laughs> Bless you.